Hi, I'm Celeste Heath and I'm the city clerk. I manage the city council and the city clerk's budget. These two budgets account for 30% or $379,000 of the $1.25 million legislative budget. The remainder of the legislative budget is allocated to the city's attorney's office. This is the seven member city council who represent all of the residents of the city. The city council and the city clerk's budgets work fluidly together to cover the expenses for the administration of the city council's work and the other citywide duties assigned to the two person city clerk's office. Let's start by looking at the city council's budget. This budget supports the legislative advocacy and ceremonial work of the seven member city council. Besides salary, most of the city council's budget goes toward annual dues to state and regional membership organizations that the city belongs to. These items are completely covered in the proposed FY23 budget. City council salaries may be subject to an update as the city explores equity issues around salaries and benefits for elected bodies. These salaries have not increased since 2007, and this issue is not addressed in the proposed FY23 budget. In other areas of the city council's budget, funds for advocacy, training, and special and ceremonial events were cut in the preceding years and are not replenished in the FY23 budget. What do these underfunded items pay for? The advocacy piece includes the city council's attendance at the Virginia Municipal League's Legislative Day. This event puts council members in front of General Assembly members to advocate for the city at the state level. The underfunded special event and ceremonial budget allows council to provide hospitality when hosting neighboring jurisdictions, regional organizations, and resident and staff groups. It also funds ceremonial recognition items, marketing items, and council meeting supplies. The city clerk's office is staffed by me and Veronica Prince, our deputy city clerk. Now let's take a look at the city clerk's budget. The budget supports the work of the city clerk as the city council's administrator and custodian of their official city documents. As a liaison between the city council staff and residents on legislative issues, as the city's Freedom of Information Act officer, and as the city's records officer. The latter two responsibilities are citywide functions serving all city departments and are not funded specifically in any part of the city budget. Salary and benefits for my two person office are a large part of the departmental budget, and these numbers reflect the city manager's recommendation for an increase in salary for all city employees in FY23. Part of the materials, supplies, and other budget item funds a contract for live streaming for both city council and planning commission meetings. These are the videos of the meetings that the public can have access to. The proposed FY23 budget funds an increase in that contract cost, as well as the cost of replacement and upgrade of the live streaming equipment, which has reached the end of its life. A request for increased funding for legal advertising and codification services is not uh, funded in this proposed budget. These costs are increasing because of inflation and also because of the volume of legally required advertising and recodification of the city code for the many projects that city council and also private developers are undertaking. As I said before, records management is a service provided to all city departments and residents, yet those functions have no specific funding in the city clerk, city council, or any departmental budget. Records management is becoming increasingly a digital enterprise. While the clerk's general budget has allowed for maintenance of paper records in a very reasonable manner across all the departments in the city, with the increased volume of data, including law enforcement uh, use of cameras, there is now a need to fund a citywide record, records management program. This is not funded in the FY23 budget. Uh, the same can be also uh, be said for closed captioning services for city meeting videos. Closed captions are necessary for compliance with the Americans with Disability Act and this citywide need is also not funded in the budget. So what is funded? Those items that are funded are recommended salary increases, um, increased general membership dues, increased live streaming costs, 
and maintaining the FY22 funding level for the, all the other items in the budget. This amounts to 12.6 increase or $30,000 um, for both the city clerk and city council departmental budgets. Items that are not funded in the FY23 bu proposed budget are restoration of city council and city clerk training and advocacy budgets, restoration of the city council special activity budget, anticipated increases in legal advertising and codification service, and the two citywide pieces, records management and closed captioning. If these are deemed as priorities, they should be added to the proposed budget. Thinking about future budget needs should focus on providing remote access to all board and commission meetings and also planning for an, any increase in city council salaries and benefits if those options are pursued. If you have any comments about the budget or any city issue, you can always send an email to cityclerk at fallschurchva.gov. I'll forward those comments to city council right away and I'll add them to our record of public comments. Thank you so much for listening. And again, if you have any comments about this, the overall city budget or any other issue, please send an email to cityclerk at fallschurchva.gov. Thank you.